right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change your background on your custom live wallpaper directly from the live wallpaper itself. You do not have to open up KLWP to toggle between backgrounds. For example, here at the bottom, I have four backgrounds that I can toggle in between. There are multiple ways of doing this. I will show you one way that I'm using here. So I can toggle between these static wallpapers. All of these static wallpapers that you see here, the one with the black hole, the hexagon, and now we see Darth Vader, these were downloaded from the Zedge app that you can get on the Play Store. You can download these for free and use them on your custom live wallpaper. And then uh, I also had this live wallpaper that I've created where I can I have a little heartbeat going across the screen and I can actually change the colors of the heartbeat itself. So, you know, now as you can see down here, I have a little toggle. This toggle is green, and if I tap it again, it's gonna change the heartbeat to a blue. Now, both of them are black, but maybe if I wanna uh, change this one now, I can have a black heartbeat with a red background. So, this one's changing the heartbeat, and this one is actually changing the entire screen itself. So, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. So this one will not take a lot of work. Inside of a blank preset, let's go over to Globals and let's go ahead and add your bitmap images that you want for your background. And I'm gonna title these BG1, BG2, BG3, and BG4. I'm gonna add four background images. And go ahead and pick your images for these. And now what you wanna do, uh, one way to approach this is how many ever images you have, let's create a list global and let's call it bgnum. And inside of this list, let's just put the numbers one comma two comma three comma four. Basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a way that we can toggle through this and that's what's gonna happen here so that we can go from BG1 to BG2 to BG3 to BG4. Now you could do this different ways again, but this way is easier to edit. If you go back and add more backgrounds, um, you can just simply come in here and add more numbers to toggle between those. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to one, that BG num list global. And now what we wanna do is go over to our background, or you could actually apply this to just a static image without directly being inside of your background. I wanna change this type to image. And for the bitmap, I'm going to apply code to it. So inside of this code, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on this global icon and I'm going to go to BG1, just tapping on that. But then inside of this code here, I want this one to change from a two to a three to a four based off of that list global that we created. So what we can do here is instead of BG1, I can do BG type a plus. Now I can do GV BG num. Now remember, BG num is the list global that simply has a one, a two, a three, or a four. And again, if we were to add more BGs like BG5, BG6, we can go back into that list and just add those numbers in there very quickly and we can also toggle between those as well. So checking on that. And now I have a background set up. This background also came from Zedge as well. And now that's basically the image that I picked for my BG1. If I come to my list now and I change this to a two, I have Darth Vader. Uh, if I go to three, it's gonna change it to the hexagons. That's what I had for BG3. And then BG4 I think is the black hole that I showed you earlier. So if I change this to a four, there's the black hole or whatever you wanna call that, a wormhole. Anyway, now what you can do is create a button to toggle between these. Let me show you that first. I know I didn't show you that in the intro, but a, a button to toggle between these is very quickly done. I'm just gonna add a shape. I'm gonna make this shape a little bit bigger. And I gotta make sure I remember that, you know, whatever this color is, um, that it doesn't blend in with the background. But for now, there's my shape. That's the button I'm gonna use to toggle. If I go over to touch, go to plus, Let's toggle the BG num list global. And I'll set it to next value or previous value, it does not matter. And let's just save that, go back to the home screen. So just using this button here, I can toggle, I'm tapping on the square and I can toggle through these backgrounds. That's one way that you can do it. And then the other way is maybe you want to see, and like I showed you at the beginning, I had all of those backgrounds showing at the bottom of the screen and I wanted to click on the actual image that I wanted to set it to. That's what I'm gonna show you now. 
So again, that's just one way, creating a quick button that you can tap on to toggle through those wallpapers. But back at the beginning, I had like a little dock that was animating out and I had all four or how many ever images you may want to add. We can put them all inside of one little menu and we can tap on the actual picture itself to change the actual wallpaper to whatever image we touch. And I'm gonna delete this button that I just showed you there. And I'm going to add an overlap group. I'm not going to focus on the animations here. I mean, I have plenty of videos on animations. I just want to show you how we can do this slightly different to where we can see each individual image and we can tap on that image to apply it to our custom live wallpaper. So I'm going to add an overlap group. Inside of this overlap group, I'm going to add a rectangle just to kind of serve as a background so that I can put all of my images on top of it. That shape's going to be a rectangle. I'm going to make it the width of my screen using the SIR width function. So now I have a rectangle that's the width of our screen. I'm going to make the height a little bit taller and I'm going to position this entire overlap group at the bottom of the screen. All right, now again, I'm not going to focus on animations. Obviously, this is blocking out the bottom part of the wallpaper, but inside of this overlap group too, I'm going to also add a stack group. And inside of this stack group is where I want to put rectangles that are going to be our images. Now I prefer to use rectangles and setting a uh, texture bitmap to them. That way all of my rectangles will have the same size. So again, inside of this stack group, let's add a shape. I'm going to add a rectangle. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to give it uh, some height. And I'm going to go ahead and give it some width. Uh, just to get some type of dimension to it. And I'm going to go straight to its FX. I'm going to go to texture set it to bitmap, and I'm going to automatically set this one to whatever BG1 is. So just like that, we have that BG1, that uh, multicolored image that you saw a moment ago. Again, all of these can be downloaded from Zedge using the Zedge app. And then what I want to do here with this image is I want to go to its touch, go to plus, and let's toggle the global switch BG num but let's set it directly equal to one since this is BG1. This is going to automatically, and I can go ahead and show you this now, when I tap this, it's gonna automatically change it. And now we can actually see the image that's getting applied there. And what's cool about this is, if we go back and change the actual image for BG1, it will change here and we can still touch it and it'll still change it here. So I think that's a really cool uh, feature to have instead of you having to go in and change so many different spots all we really have to do here is change our BG1 image and it will change this. It will still toggle it correctly because we're still toggling directly to BG num setting it equal to one and it will change our wallpaper on the fly. So backing out of here, what we can do next is we can copy and paste the same rectangle that's in our stack group. And right now it's a vertically centered stack group. So what I need to do, or probably vertical left, I'm gonna set this to horizontal center that way we can go from left to right. And I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of a margin in here to space these out. So let's go to this second rectangle here and let's go to its FX, change it to BG2. And let's change the touch to entry to. So what I'm really going to do here is I'm just going to copy and paste this again. And I'm going to go change again the BG num. I'm going to toggle it to whatever BG num I want to go to. In this case, I'm changing it to two. That's my background two because underneath the FX, I have it set to BG two. Copy and paste in two more times to get BG three and BG four. And just like that, we have all four of our images down here. If we save this and we go back to the home screen, of course, that's going to be blocking the bottom part of our image. But now I can tap and I know that I'm going to get Darth Vader here. I can tap the hexagons and I know I'm going to get the hexagons. I can tap this wormhole image and I know I'm going to get that. And we can go back and forth between these in any order that we want. And as I mentioned earlier, back when I first created this rectangle, we can change the BG1 or BG2 or BG3 or 4 or how many ever you may have. We can change that bitmap global and it will update this little image here. And I'm going to show you that right now real quick to round out this video. So back inside of my globals, I'm just going to uh, tap on the BG3. That's going to change this hexagon that we see down here.
So down here, it is a different image that has been picked. And if I tap on that one now, notice it did change. And all I did was change the BG3 image. And here we have another uh, background of Darth Vader. In this case here, also this wallpaper came from Zedge, the app on the Play Store as well. So I'm gonna uh, pause the video here or conclude this video here. We will talk about changing colors. We'll come in here and add some text items to this custom live wallpaper. And then I'll show you how you can create toggles so that like, you know, here, maybe a, a gray or a white or something like that would be good to show the time. But then if we go over, I don't know, to this one, maybe you want something to be like a more of a blue, uh, transparent kind of color or whatever. I'm gonna show you how you can toggle those colors directly from your custom live wallpaper as well. And the whole point of this is to keep us from having to go back into the advanced editor to change these things. That way we can be right on our custom live wallpaper. We can tap whatever image we want. And ultimately in the next part, we will be able to toggle some colors. That way we can uh, get a nice look. Uh, directly without having to open up the advanced editor. And there you have it. That's how you can toggle backgrounds on the fly directly from your custom live wallpaper. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.